like to look at horror film, not just from an entertainment perspective, but the symbolic. And I wanted to talk about fears in terms of the isms, which you might've heard of before, racism, classism, sexism. The history of horror film is essentially a history of anxiety. What I ended up doing was selecting a film to represent each generation or each decade. In the 1920s, probably is best known for the cabinet of Dr. Caligari. If you don't know German expressionism, you might be familiar with this image that you're looking at right now, Nosferatu. Dracula, the first American horror film. Dracula is seen as a kind of sexual predator. And the bite through its penetration is very symbolic from a sexual perspective. Cat people shot beautifully with its use of fog and shadows. Female passion leads to something that is uncontrollable, a transformation that leads to the beast deal. 1956, I took this shot from Invasion of the Body Snatchers to show the idealistic version of the suburbs that we are initially presented with, right down to mowing the lawn, the lawn being so important in American culture. Psycho, Alfred Hitchcock. And that's probably how this film is best known for, that shower scene. A mastery of editing, because audiences will swear that they see that knife penetrate this character as she's taking a shower, and that never happens. The second film is Night of the Living Dead. Now, George Romero, the director of Night of the Living Dead, reinvented the idea of the zombie which was introduced in pop culture in the 1932 films, White Zombie. An American film is about how Haitian zombies are created through voodoo, hypnotism, and drugs. And what I've selected for the 1970s is The Exorcist. I, I cannot tell you what kind of a cultural phenomenon this film was. And when we get to the 1980s, Halloween, but I think that film from 1978 was so important for the slasher film movement of the 1980s. The 1990s gets me to The Blair Witch Project. It's an independent movie on a shoestring budget, $60,000, nothing. It earned over $250 million. 28 Days Later, this is a British film that came out by Danny Boyle in 2002. Human destruction does not mean the ending of the world. The world in this film continues on quite beautifully, even though humanity is destroyed. Get Out, uh, 2017 by Jordan Peele. The plot is that we've got this wealthy, mostly Caucasian group of individuals buying and literally inhabiting the bodies of Blacks. If you wanted to learn more about the genre, I'm teaching a class in horror film in popular culture and media, CMN 201. That's at GCC. If you'd like to see this presentation in its entirety, click on the link below. And thanks for watching.